Hi stampers, this is Dawn and today we're going to do another faux leather technique using masking tape this time. And this is the card we're going to actually make today. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, so that background is amazing. So you might remember that I posted a video and we used the puff paint. This is the Snowfall Accents puff paint that's in our holiday catalog right now. And we made this Christmas card and it's very subtle but you can feel it and you can slightly see it. And this was using the crumb cake. And then I posted this one on my blog and I used a different, uh, actually a darker shade of cardstock. Instead of the crumb cake, I used the basic gray. And the faux leather technique using the puff paint showed up so much better on this basic gray piece. Oh my gosh, I love it. So then I also shared in the glitter pit, if you guys catch me on Wednesday live on Facebook, it's the glitter pit. And I shared another technique on how to make this faux background with just crumpling up some paper. So I'll kind of show you that at the end of today's video. But that one's another way you can get this totally different background. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, so let's get to the layers of today's card. So I'm using the early espresso, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And then your inside piece, this is the Whisper White. This is cut at four by five and a quarter. And then for the for the front of the card, let's start with the copper foil sheet. This piece is cut at four by five and a quarter. It's gonna layer on the front. And then these two pieces of the copper, this piece is cut at three by four. And then this piece is cut at a half inch by, I think this is by four. Yeah, by four. And then this piece of Whisper White is cut at two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And this is gonna be for the horse when we stamp that. And then this piece is what we're going to do the technique on. This piece is cut at three and three quarter by five, and we're going to use the masking tape for that. And then this piece of designer paper, this is from the Neutrals collection. That's the six by six designer paper. This piece is cut at two and a half by three and three quarters. So it's going to layer right onto this piece that we're going to do the technique on top of this layer here. All right, so those are the layers. Now let's start with the masking tape. So, and you can get your masking tape at a local dollar store. Um, I think I got this at Home Depot, or my husband had it from Home Depot. So what we're going to do is we're going to build on this piece of Whisper White. And I find that just tearing off a big piece and just working a little bit at a time. And what you're going to do is you're going to layer your masking tape on top of each little piece. So you basically want to cover your whole piece of Whisper White that you're wanting to expose on your card. So I'm just going to start tearing my masking tape and layering it onto my Whisper White piece. And I like using a variety of different sizes. And you want to make sure you're covering all the Whisper White cardstock underneath. And I think that's what gives it the illusion of it being like a faux leather. Just because it's making it look like it's um, cracked and worn. You know, like a real leather couch. That look of that. So I went ahead and got one already started so we don't have to do this whole piece. So let me show you that. So here's one that I started working on. I just want to finish it with you here on today's video. So I'm just going to go ahead and start layering this masking tape over top of this piece of Whisper White. Now I'm using this as a guide. Let me show you here. So I'm gonna layer this piece of the designer paper underneath that. So I don't have to do this whole piece of Whisper White. Okay, so I'm just doing this section right here. Okay, so let me go ahead and finish this layer. Okay, so I'm just double checking to make sure I have the whole piece of Whisper White covered. Put this tape down here. Okay. So you just want to make sure that that's all adhered down to the Whisper White piece. And then we're going to take our scissor, we're going to just cut this edge, cutting the excess off of the masking tape. Okay. So there's our background. Now we're going to take some ink. I'm using the Crumb Cake Classic Ink. And then also the Early Espresso. And I also have my two sponges. So I'm going to take my Crumb Cake first. I'm going to take my sponge. 
Just making sure this is all adhered down really good. Okay, so take your sponge, and I'm going to first lay some of the crumb cake over top of this masking tape, and I'm just going to rub it into the masking tape so you can see that it's grabbing the edges of the masking tape. So now you could add some early espresso. Okay, so there's your technique for your background. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love it. All right, now you can also take a little Kleenex after you give it a couple seconds to dry and just kind of buff it lightly. But I found that if I just set it aside just for a little bit, it's fine. Okay, I should have left that ink out. We're going to do some stamping. So we're going to go ahead and set this aside. We're going to stamp on this piece of Whisper White. We're going to stamp the horse. Let me show you the stamp set we're using. This is called Let It Ride. Beautiful stamp set. We're going to use this horse and then this Take Life by the Reins. And then for the inside, we're going to stamp Live as if someone left the gate open. And then we're going to stamp in the corner with the horse. All right, so first we're going to go ahead and stamp our horse. And this is Early Espresso. Okay, and then we're going to take a piece of scrap, let me grab that, and we're going to stamp the Take Life by the Reins, and we're going to punch that out with the one and a half inch circle punch. Okay, so now I'm going to take my copper foil sheet. I'm going to take the one and three quarter inch circle punch. This punch is no longer available, but there is an equivalent size in our circle dies. I just didn't want to get the big shot out. All right, so we're going to layer this with our Take Life by the Rain. So let me grab my adhesive. Now we're going to take this piece here. We're going to take our designer paper. Remember, this designer paper is also two-sided. Oh, I kind of like that, that um, checkered back there. But I'm going to use this side. Let's go ahead and layer this together. Then we're going to take that strip of the copper foil sheet and this is the half inch it's going to layer right over top of that but first i'm going to go ahead and layer this onto the copper okay so we'll layer this on top of that and then we're going to take our strip and layer it right between those two layers kind of camouflaging that seam there Layer this onto the early espresso. Okay, then we're going to pop these two layers up on dimensionals. Layer this right here. So beautiful. And then this is going to sit right here. So we're just going to put two dimensionals on the back side right here, the bottom edge. Okay, we'll put that right there. Okay, now we're going to stamp the inside. Let's take this head of the horse. I'm going to stamp the horse, the bottom right corner. And then this saying here, live as if someone left the gate open. Stamp that right there. Then this is going to go on the inside. So 
so beautiful. Okay, so one more thing. We're going to put some stars on the copper. So let me grab them. Okay, so these are the star designer elements. These are also in the holiday catalog. I'm just going to put one star on the little strip of the copper. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. Love this card, and I love that technique. So let me show you here the other one that I made, and then we'll make the other faux leather by scrunching up the cardstock. So here's the other one. All right, so now here's the one where we're just going to crinkle up the background with the crumb cake. So let me show you how to do that. So I have a piece of crumb cake cardstock, and I've already previously kind of scrunched this up, so this is all you're going to do. Now, if you have a hard time scrunching up the paper, the cardstock, you can spray this with water or rubbing alcohol just to kind of loosen up the fibers for the cardstock. But you want to crumble up every piece of this cardstock. So hopefully the camera is picking that up. And then we're just going to go ahead and grab our crumb cake classic ink. And grab our sponge. Now this time we're just going to go ahead and sponge over this piece of cardstock. And wherever the paper has been crumbled up is going to grab the ink a little bit darker so you can see it just start popping right off the cardstock here. So I'm making a totally different card still using this masking tape for the faux leather but we're going to use a different stamp set. And you might want to check out the Glitter Pit Live replay. The link is listed down below in the description box if you want to check that out. So this is another background for that faux leather. And then this is what that looks like on a card. Same design of the card, I just changed the background, which is the faux leather again. Okay, so really easy. So you have three different ways to achieve this faux leather look with the masking tape. And then also just by crinkling the cardstock. And then also with the puff paint, which is the Snowfall Accents puff paint. And these are the two versions that we made using that. So beautiful. Okay, so hopefully that helped you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. And also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss any future videos. Okay, thanks for stopping by and we'll see you later. Bye.